Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Prioxis and I'm back with another video and in this one here I'm going to be, be going against a Deontay the bronze bomber Wilder He is very brawlic. You have to respect his power Otherwise you will go to sleep and I'm using Alexander Uzik the current champion and I'm telling you guys right now Once you watch this and you do what I do in this video You will no longer have problems with Deontay Wilder when using Uzik. I promise you this Watch this video. I'm giving tips throughout the video, and I'm also whooping up on this Deontay Wilder. Enjoy the video, guys. You're going to love it. All right, here we go, man. Deontay Wilder to having to deal with him. We know he's going to be very good as far as um, the power. A lot of guys are using his cross. Okay. A circle out. I'm just want to be frustrating right now. Okay. Just want to be frustrating right now. I know a lot of people are having troubles with landed. using Uzik because of uh a circle out. Because of um, you know, obviously him being a southpaw and people are used to fighting orthodox. Also, people are having trouble with being on the right side of the screen. I'm not really one that prefers either or. Okay. Ooh. So when you play someone that wants to cross a lot, I like to move my head. This has been a very competitive round. Also, I don't want to. You don't want to sit in Deontay you know, Wilder's face. You want to consistent, consistently be moving well because, because Deontay so Wilder's close, weakness so is going to be his footwork. Be he has power. He has accuracy. He has speed. Okay. So we're just going to utilize the footwork. We want to frustrate him. I mean, if this fight was to happen in real life, this is exactly probably how Uzi could play it. You don't want to, you know, sit in his face and, and be in the line of sight, but basically straight down the line. You want to consistently be moving. As you see, we circle out there with a nice pivot lunge. Okay. So far in this round, the offense has been better than okay. the defense. As you can see, the defense is really on point right now. Okay. Ten seconds to go. Who's gonna get the last shot here? In the and round? I think we'll just take this round. We'll take this round. Go ahead and uh, not take any more damage. We wanna you wanna frustrate Wilder. You wanna frustrate Wilder players because Wilder players are usually hyper aggressive players way. that Every want to trade. So and if you don't give them those really trading opportunities, a lot of times they sell to fight themselves. They go start to go crazy, lose all their stamina. You can also notice. You can also notice. Um, I wanna get. I'm gonna get away from the, um, the ropes, circle out here. Let's back up. And something that I'm noticing is you're gonna have to drop that block and get up out of there. You're gonna have to drop the block and get up the out of there. Right Again. Hand. That's what we're gonna see here okay. between these two. There we go. Looks like you're gonna try and be a little We're gonna attack the body here, and then we're gonna get up out of the pocket. Use our loose footwork. Okay. There we go. Nice counter. Okay, utilize our footwork. Remember, we have footwork right advantage. We're going to be able to circle out. We're going to not stand in the line of fire with Wilder. We're going to circle out. Some people call this running, but you're fighting Deontay Wilder. You don't, you don't stand in the pocket with him. You don't play his game. Okay, and if you do, well, you could end up being a highlight reel. And not on the, not on the good side. Okay. Halfway point, and these guys have thrown up punches for five okay. Rounds. Then we're gonna lunge. Okay, we block. Then we're gonna circle out. Utilize our footwork again. That's the advantage we have over Deontay Wilder. A lot of guys will um will sit in the fire with him and be like, "Bro, I can't. Like, it's what like do I do? I can't hit him." Now. You gotta you gotta frustrate him. He's gonna you, you gotta accept the fact that he's probably gonna be able to go first. Most so of the time, round, the offense has been and you just have to defense. get in where you fit in. Take advantage of the pockets and the window opportunity that he, he does give you. You know, utilizing your lunge. Look at this. I'm using footwork to just completely negate his power. Nice jab by him. Well, if someone's okay. got a secret punch, now's the time. We get out the way. Not many fighters can box off the Okay. Now we don't. Rounds over. Relax. Rounds over. This is this, this is frustrating boxing, and and you may not fight. like this. This There's going to be somebody out there that's like, bro, this is stupid. You're playing dumb. Why are you running? 
when nine times out of ten, if you started boxing and the heaviest puncher in your division, let's say whatever weight you are now, in your division was to fight you, right? You would probably be on the back foot like this. You wouldn't want to get hit. Getting hit doesn't feel good. The fear of getting knocked out is crazy, all right? But here we go. Continue frustrating Wilder. Attack the body. We're going to walk out. Okay. Gonna lunge out. He's blocking. And here's the thing a lot of guys are gonna be doing. They're gonna be blocking for no reason. Okay, nice. Okay. Nice. Cuts with the counter. Now he's trying to walk us down. We're gonna circle out. Okay, again, sure. when when someone, see how he just stood back like that? That tells me he's frustration. Frustration. That just screams frustration. That just screams frustration. Nice right again. hand. Okay. Nice. Neither fighter trying to be cautious. Let's circle out. And, we can, and, and I'll show you guys what not losing the loose footwork happens it does. It, it, it makes you kind of stiff, right? Makes you kind of stiff. And you can see I'm preemptively moving my head because a lot of Deontay Wilders like to throw it across. Okay, nice. You see how he can still walk me down? That's why we use the loose footwork and we can just get up out of there. Nice body shot by him. We trade a little bit. Here we go. We're gonna walk out. Defense is not an gonna walk out. These two warriors. Bomb for bomb, okay. Shot for shot. It's and you can see right here. Okay. Trade a little bit. And we're just being That's annoying. Being very around. annoying to Wilder right now. Gonna walk in. Try to see if we can get him to throw something. Put him with a nice counter at the end of the round. And there goes round three. And I believe we're up right now three to zero against the Deontay Wilder. The, our health is on 90%. Our cardio is on 100. And here we go. Okay, so they gave him the last round. So, and that's okay. There we go. Nice counter as we start the round. Okay, one, two by him. We're going to utilize the loose footwork and be able to circle out. Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? Okay. Boom, we lunge out. He loose footwork. Looking for the knockout, and and people are going to hate going this, but if, if you didn't have the opportunity or the ability to do something like this, Wilder would be a god. I mean, Wilder doesn't have the greatest footwork. Okay, we, we circle out here. Nice right hand or left hand, I'm sorry. He throws a power punch there. Go to the body. Check left, check right hook. I'm sorry. Okay. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure. We're gonna get out. Nice. We evade the shot. We evade the shot again. We evade the shot again. We evade the shot again. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. Nice body shot. Respect both of them more than happy. Okay. Looks like they're gonna try and be a little more aggressive now. Trying to throw the power shot. Then we're gonna work, walk out. And you can see that I'm utilizing the pool counter a lot. Because it works really well. Oh, nice power hook. There he goes. He throws across again. We slip the jab, throw across. Defense is not an option between these two warriors. Bomb for bomb, shot for Try to utilize. I don't really like the input for this. There we go. We get the rock. I won't go too crazy. I'm okay with the rock at the end. Take advantage of it, their aggression. Right but uh, no that idea. it's like the it's that head movement where you just instantly do this. It's uh holding down the, the left analog, basically and clicking it down and like flicking bit. it in a it's direction. Okay to be aggressive now. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. Okay, we can circle out. First. I tried to. I did not try to throw that long of a combination. 
Okay. And we're round five of eight. Always want to get on okay. the offensive foot first. Nice. This is an nice. Slugfest already. Nice two piece by me. He's probably gonna walk into a jab cross. There we go. Nice. Let's walk back. Okay, we're gonna block. Let him throw what he's gonna throw. Okay. And notice how he just literally and this is why you gotta understand footwork. He people, a lot of guys don't know how to cut off the ring. Don't know how to do anything really. Sure All they know how to do is walk forward and throw punches. Match. It shows the skill, the okay. discipline. Now he's going to give me. See how he gave me that, that window to, to walk out? This is what I'm talking about. Like, I'll even walk myself towards towards a corner. And let's see if he walks me down. Nope. He's frustrated again. And that's okay. Go to the body. Go to the jab up top. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right? Now he stands here. Let's see if he gives me the window to walk out. Yep, there he goes. He's not really cutting off the uh, the ring. And I mean, it's going to be hard because he's using Wilder. He doesn't have the greatest footwork. Now I'm going to show you me cutting him off. I'm obviously not going to stand too close in the fire with him. Okay, and then that's the end of the round. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tight. Really good round. You can see I'm just putting in some nice work with Uzi. Not really looking for the knockout. Oh, he immediately comes out with a cross. I slip it. Okay. Putting in a nice work on him. He's throwing power punches. He throwing power punches. Oh, power! There you go. That's what, and that's why you gotta respect Wilder. That's why you gotta respect Wilder. Right there, because in an instant you can go from being just fine to being rocked, just like this. But he has to respect me as well. He has to respect me as well. Okay. Well, I'm not over there no more, bro. You don't want to really, again, stand too close or straight, in, straight down the line against uh, Wilder. Also, I'm moving a lot. I don't want to be a steel target. Hit him with a cross again. Get out of the pocket. Oh. Time to counter. Time to another counter. Nice four piece. If he keeps on, if he keeps on disrespecting me, I'm going to knock him down. He's disrespecting me by walking into the pocket and, and then continue trading after I land power punches. Caution is being thrown okay. to the wind. Let's walk out. Not much time left okay. In the okay, nice round. Let's see if he's gonna throw anything at the end. He does. And that's round six. I don't know which fighter is winning this battle. It's too hot. Here we go. As you can see, I'm currently up two rounds. Okay. Again, we don't want to stand in the fire versus him. Nice body shot. This may be okay. a round of the year contender, and we're not even halfway there through. There we the go. Round. Nice. Almost caught him with a nice counter. Who's gonna be the first one to get rocked? Okay. And I'm just keep moving. Don't be a steel target for him. You want to stay on off angles. Nice four piece. Nice body shot by him. Being displayed here, that's for sure. We're going to walk out. Utilize loose footwork. And that's something that, that uh, you know, Steel City added that can really help you against 
overly aggressive opponents, especially aggressive ones with terrible footwork. Uh oh, he looks like he's gassing. Look like he's gassing. Look like, okay, we'll block low. We'll block low. If you, if you make me respect it. You making me respect the body punches. We definitely will block low. Check left hook. Right hook, I'm sorry. He's attacking my body. And the thing is, it's kind of too late. Oh, we're rock. Disrespecting Wilder. Disrespecting Wilder. This is what happens. He's dangerous all the time. He's dangerous all the time. Uh-uh. That's going to be the end of the round. That's going to end of the end of the round. And this is what happens when you disrespect Wilder, man. You can, you have to respect him every second of the fight because he can rock you just like that. And now what we're going to do in this last and final round is give him our 100% utmost respect. And he's gonna walk us down. We're gonna circle out. Nice two two piece. Not a lot of punch out, but thought there okay. might be more action here. Not a lot of okay. being displayed here, that's for sure. Nice two piece. We're gonna circle out. Gotta respect him. Gotta respect the power of Wilder. Let's get out. Gonna be the first one to get caught. Let's get out. Try to throw Maybe power there. Try to catch him. Contender, and we're not even halfway through the round. Nice. Catch with the uppercut if he's going to my body. Catch with another uppercut if he's going to my body. Catch with a nice power shot. Again. I don't want to disrespect him, so I'm going to circle out. Catch with another power shot. Catch with a counter. Catch with another counter. Rock him. Okay. Now we're going. Now this is how you cut off the ring. This is how you cut off the ring. When you rock somebody. Down. That's how you cut off the ring. You're ten. faster than them. So where they're trying to go, you beat them there. That's it. That's it. We got the we got to finish. There's 10 seconds left in the fight. We was able to get the finish right there, man. If this isn't a, a prime example on how you beat Deontay Wilder players, I don't think I don't think there is another one. You have to frustrate them with footwork and outside fighting, but you have to get on the inside. So the windows and the opportunities that you get on the inside, you have to go crazy. And you can see right there, it was a close fight. Even even this, it was tough for me. So you can see right here the accuracy. We landed 49% of our shots. He threw 592 and uh, landed 190. I threw 419, landed 205. Pretty good accuracy. I was throwing a lot of jabs, crosses. You can see he threw 71 power punches. I only threw seven. I didn't want to get countered. But look at how many counters I had. I had 59 counters. Think about that. You take 59 times it by four, that's almost a quarter of my punches landed. Where, actually, that's more than a quarter of my punches landed were counter shots because I'm taking advantage of the opportunities that were given to me. That's what you do when you go against Deontay Wilder. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe up, turn on notifications, man. See you guys later.